Hello everybody, it's Jane here with another episode of the Game Prowl, and not the Alpha Dragon, because I'm gonna be honest here, I, I kinda wanna focus this channel more on the Game Prowl. The more and more we go on, the more I realize that long, lengthy LPs are just not my thing, so instead, I, I, don't worry, I'm not cutting off LPs forever, but... I probably wanna, I probably wanna focus a bit more on the game prowl, which also means I wanna lax up a little bit on it, which means screw the Alpha Dragon, that series is gone, dead, dusted, I cut it up into tiny bits, it's uh, sitting in the trash can right next to me. Hi, how's it going? Anyways, <laughs> so, this is, uh, Dirt Rally, which is a modern day rally game, which should, in and of itself, probably make your jaw drop. The last really good rally game I played was on the freaking GameCube. It's called Rally Championship. It's pretty fun. I know a lot of people play like Mc McCray Rally, McCraw Rally, something like that. I don't know. I never played it, but I guess uh, I guess that's a rally game as well. I don't know when that one was made, but I'm talking from my perspective here, and I haven't seen a good rally game in quite some time. For those of you who don't know what rally is, it is basically trying to drive a rear-wheel drive vehicle. Which, uh, anyone who knows what cars is knows that those can be quite terrifying to handle. On a freaking dirt- on a narrow dirt road that can barely even fit your car on it. Driving across lots and lots of hairpin turns as fast as possible. All the while someone relays instructions on how not to kill yourself and you probably ignore them and die anyway. That is rally racing! But, uh, for those who can't visualize that, I guess we'll just boot on into the game and show you what it's all about. First, there's a few other things this game has. It's got team management. Basically, you have a team of people who can repair your car after you do inevitably kill yourself multiple times. They can make your car feel a bit better, but they can't make your ego feel a bit better, unfortunately. So then you get a team of engineers. The, the more races you get, the, or the more races you do, the better your crew chief, who is also an engineer, gets. And that means that you get more engineers to help repair your horrible mistakes. So that's how that works. Either way, you got championship mode, which I'm not going to show today because I want to get to work on one of the online events here. Championship mode is basically as close to a story mode as you're going to get. You start off on the game's lowest difficulty, which is still extremely difficult if you've never actually played a rally game before. So, uh, just, just a heads up there, this game is... Not exactly beginner friendly, I'll say. Uh, it's not terrible. You, the, the game does give you a lot of assists that I never turned on because I'm an arrogant bastard. But you can turn those on. I'm sure they might help. Maybe that might help me in my racing, but whatever. It, it's still a very, very difficult game to play. <laughs> but yeah, you start off on the lowest difficulty. You go through numerous events depending on the difficulty you're on. And after three championships in a row, it'll tell you, hey! Congratulations, you're good enough for the next difficulty, or sorry, you suck, try that again. Either way, you get money, you use money to buy cars, or you use money to uh, buy perks for your crew members who will help you research upgrades for your cars faster. Upgrades on your cars are applied immediately. Anyways, now let's actually play a freaking rally, shall we? So, the online events on this game, you got daily, weekly, and monthly. You can only hit, or you've only got one shot at each of these, so you gotta be careful. And, uh, depending on how long you have to complete the event, it has multiple races in it. So, the Dirt Daily is one race, it picks your car for you, you go through the race, and you see just how painfully average you really are. Right smack dab of the middle of the freaking middle tier. Ugh. But, you also got the weekly event, which is significantly more races. As you can see here, we had six events in this one. And, uh, I'd like to think I did pretty good there. Depending on how you place in the, uh, or depending on how you place in the tiers of these races, by the way, it affects how much money you get in the end, as you can see there from all that sweet, sweet money. So there's that. And last, but certainly not least, we got the monthly event, which has a lot of races. I haven't actually done this one yet, so why don't we go check it out? Let's just paint my car there. You, uh, I should also mention, for the uh, monthly and weekly events, you do have to o actually own a car in the class. So, that's a thing. Either way, let's just pick the shadows and show you some actual racing here. Enough jibber jabber! The monthly event is very, very, very big, so you'll excuse me if we do a few rallies in this one as well. There's also a, a mode called Hill Climb, but I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know why that mode exists. <laughs> I'll show you it in a minute, but it's, uh, it's confusing to me. Maybe someone can explain. Either way, let's take a, take a look at this first race here. Which happens to be in Wales. Good, this is my favorite course. Currently, there's, uh, the game boasts having 36 racetracks. I can't confirm how true or false that is. 
Realistically speaking, from what I've noticed, there's three racetracks, and they're all really, really big. And all of these, uh, there's also smaller sprints, which just contain smaller versions of these racetracks. And here I am, trying to drive a rear-wheel drive vehicle, and I absolutely hate it. Ah! All the spinning! I think the problem is I'm trying to drift it, and trying to drift a rear-wheel drive vehicle is, uh... Well, the thing just drifts on its own anyways, so... It's kind of a silly thing. Either way... Welcome to the world of Dirt Rally. Over there on the left, you can see our progress bar through the map. Oh, I'm gonna tap that cliff. Please don't. There we go. Over there on the left is our progress bar. Because you don't actually get a map, because that would completely eliminate the need for, uh... For Dude Bro there, whispering his sweet nothings into my ear. If you've never played a rally game before, unfortunately, as far as I'm aware, this game does not come with a beginner's guide of what the fuck those symbols at the top mean. So you'll just have to play with Dude Bro's voice on and try and figure it out for yourself. But, I can help explain it a little bit. Basically, if you ever hear him say left, right, and then number, that means you have to turn that direction coming up soon. The number is equivalent to the, to the, what's it called? Uh, I guess intensity of the curve. Six, as you see there, is the lightest curve. And, uh, the tightest is a one. Then it's followed up by square turn, hairpin turn, and a cute turn. And all of those turns, I hate with the dearest of my heart, because they almost always end up killing me. Because of trees and cliffs and holy shit! I'm alright, I'm alright. As I said, uh, very narrow roads. Let's not go wandering off into the forest. That'd be bad. I ended up falling off the road, I have to reset my car, and that'll give me a nasty time penalty. That'll very much hurt my time. And uh, I really don't need my time on this course to be hurt any more than it already is. The, the amount my time gets hurt is equivalent to the amount that my ego gets hurt. And my ego is very precious, I'm a dragon. I am literally my ego. That's all I am. I'm, I'm just a living ego. If uh, modern, most modern fantasy games are to be believed. Gate, hey, da, hi, how's it going? <laughs> See, generally, dude, bro, in the face. Oh God, why? Ow. Well, that's me. I'm wedged. All right, fine. There's our 11 second time penalty. Dude, bro, on the left there normally tells me through auditory cues what exactly is coming up now. But obviously I'm commenting right now, so p actually paying attention to his voice is extremely difficult. So I'm basically working from memory here. That being said, again, this game has a total of like three tracks that I've played many times because this game is great and fun and fantastic. So, my memory isn't the worst thing to be going by, but there's a lot of logs coming up. Thank you, Dirt. I don't know how that Dirt had the force to stop my car, but you know what? I'll take it. That feels pretty good to me. Oh, I just noticed we're actually almost done with this track here. Logs again. They're the bane of my freaking existence. Alright, it's alright. We're good. We're good. You see, I was tempted to start in a, in a front wheel drive vehicle because I can actually drive those decently. But you know what? Screw it. YouTube is all about those, them, their terrifying reactions. Here comes a hairpin. Yeah. No, no, you drifted too much. Stop it. I. I realize rear-wheel drive vehicles are like the pinnacle of racing vehicles. But, and the fact that I hate them should probably show you just how much I normally hate racing sims. Which should also show you how much I freaking love Dirt Rally. Because this is effectively a racing sim. It's not as simmy as it could be, thank the gods. But it's, uh, it's, it's definitely, a uh, very simulation-esque. But again, it's just, it's been so long since we had a good rally game, and the fact that I don't get heinously penalized for doing something as terrible as touching another car or accidentally driving off the road is something that I will take very, very gladly. Gladly. Uh, dude, bro, are you gonna talk? <laughs> there he goes! Just, he just telepathically told me about the next couple of instructions. He def eh, 413, it's not terrible, I guess. Actually, no, that is terrible. That's a minute and 20 behind the best person in the world. That being said, that's the best person in the world right now, so you know what? Screw it! That's pretty good. Let's keep going. Next rally. See what, see what, the, see what the next one is. Good. <laughs> don't show me that replay game. I don't need to see that right now. You're just gonna make me feel bad about myself. Let's go. Unfortunately, the game doesn't tell you how current, or how, like, number-wise you're doing against the, uh, the, everyone else in the, uh, the championship, which I actually find very disappointing. I'd like to see how I'd like to see how good or bad I am relative to the rest of the world, not how absolutely awful I am compared to the top person in the entire world. Regardless, let's do more races in races in Wales. 
Races in Wales sounds like a really lame cop drama. That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, I should mention, you can false start in this game. You don't want to do it because it's an immediate 10 second penalty, but you can false start if you really don't want to wait for that 5 second countdown. Ooh, boy. Let's keep my car intact for as long as possible, thank you. Should also mention, if you're really batting into a really nasty crash, you can pop your tires. Which really sucks for the entire rest of the race. Thankfully, that doesn't happen very often. Ow. You have to really put some emphasis in to pop those freaking tires. Like, you have to straight up crash into a freaking wall or tree at like 200 miles per hour to pop a tire, thankfully. These are not Grand Theft Auto tires. Thank goodness for that. We did not import these tires from uh, Los Santos. If they did, can you imagine how much more difficult this game would be? Of course, then again, I, I'd imagine if they import from Los Santos, they'd also incorporate the fact that every single car in that game is front-wheel drive. And I would absolutely love it. But, nah. Instead, literally the only cars in this game that are front-wheel are the first ones you get. I'm still a wee little baby at this game, I'm sorry. Well, at all racing games, really. I play arcade racers, damn it! Where the drive is just go, not the drive is in the back of the car, and causes me to do weird spin-outs every time I try and do something interesting. Let's go for a shortcut. God damn it. So remember that part where I said it's hard to pop your tires? Well, no, that was not actually snake hissing at me. That was my back tire being deflated. So, ah, this race just got a lot more difficult. Thankfully, in between races, dude bro there does tell you that, uh, or not tell you, he, he doesn't tell you anything. Yeah, all he talks is during the races. Dude bro there does, I assume he's the one who fixes my tires, I don't know. Maybe some strange nether being also fixes my tires. Uh, can I restart this race? No, I can't. This is a monthly event. Yeah. Well, rip my time on this course then. That's why I guess we don't take shortcuts. Alright, noted. Who left a friggin' spike ship in the middle of the grass? I didn't think Wiles was that... Wiles. I didn't think Wales was that tough of a neighborhood. Goodness. Yeah. Well, we're almost halfway down with the race. And we aren't doing terrible yet. I can definitely feel my car not liking the fact that my back rear tire was... Okay, that's really not good. That's alright. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, I know it's on the rim. Uh, there's a hairpin turn coming too. Shit. I can barely keep this damn thing under control. I will finish, damn it! No terminal damage today. Come on. You know what? For having no tires, that was literally a pretty... Oh god. No, I take everything back now. That was a pretty bad turn. Yeah, there goes the rear wheel drive combined with no freaking... I can't even turn anymore. This vehicle just doesn't turn right anymore. It's done. Game over, man. God, I do not want to look at my world ranking on this race. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Oh, God. I looked at... The video feed, that was a bad idea. Yeah, there goes the note. Unfortunately, if you wait too long or go too far from the track, it does auto-recover the vehicle. Generally, you want to avoid auto-recovering any time, because that time penalty is almost always worse than what it would be if you just naturally escaped from the, from the nastiness. Also, if you touch other human beings, you immediately reset the vehicle. Because everyone knows murder is bad. I mean, it is. I'm not going to deny that, but, you know, whatever. Basically, what I'm trying to say is don't run people over. Again, <laughs> this has nothing to do with Grand Theft Auto. Oh boy. Careful, careful, careful. Probably doesn't help that the main wheel that's driving in my car right now is the one that's popped. Oh, don't you worry about going slowly, man. That's all we're going to be going from here on out. I don't think we've broken 50 miles per hour since I popped this fucking tire. I'll, I'll give it to the game, though. It's got a pretty good sense of speed. I mean, I still feel like I'm going fast. Even though I haven't, again, broken 50 miles per hour. Oh, we almost did it! Yeah, I'm focusing more on my speedometer than the road at this point. Because I just, I know, at this point, I just have to snake my car. That's it, all. Just get to the end of the race, come on. Survive! Survive! Oh, we're still turning! Why this wheel? I am never going off the road again! That was an experiment. That was a live experiment. I normally don't do something that dumb. Which would explain why I didn't understand the consequences of it. 
Ah. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We got a right too, that's all right. No, it's actually not all right. This vehicle doesn't turn right at all. I mean, it doesn't turn right, but it also doesn't turn right as a result of the fact that it doesn't turn right. You know what I'm saying? Here comes the finish though. There it is, I can see it. Get me out of this hellhole. Look at that beautiful ram, ow! That's all right, we're good. Those style points, 360 finish. We're all right, we're all right. <laughs> wow, that difference is two minutes. Ow. That is really bad, actually. Let's never do that again. Hey, all right, so we got three minutes and 33 seconds. It's all pretty good in my books. Should mention this game does have a cockpit view. Maybe I'll use it next race. On Sweet Lamb. <laughs> okay, maybe I won't. That just feels like I'm being lured to my doom. Like a sweet lamb. Being lured to an ancient sacrifice. What are we currently looking at? We're looking at 9 minutes and 43 seconds. Ugh. Again, I wish I could compare that to everyone else here. Can I actually? Let's look at the standings. Nope! Oh no, it's downloading. Ooh, maybe I can. Come on! 3,000th place! Excellent! I have a crown next to my name though. I mean, I guess that's good. I don't know what the fuck that crown means. Whatever. All that matters is that I'm better than Sony. No, okay, I can't. Than King Nage. I'm better than King Nage. There we go. It's the important bit. All right. So here's something nice about this game: is every uh, every two races you can actually repair your vehicle. So uh, let's actually do that really quickly. You could. Go wow, that is some of the worst repairing I've had in a long time. My poor radiator man. So you can't just do all this manually. Or you could just press the Y button and you, you repair to your uh, your crew specifications. So there we go. Boom. Perfect. 30 minutes. You have 30 minutes to repair your car. Any time over that will get uh, will result in a time penalty for when you start the race. And I don't think you can go over 60 minutes of repair time. So there's that. Either way, this repairing should be fine. We don't need exhaust. That's just for re removing smoke and polluting the planet, I'm pretty sure. I don't think we actually need it. Let's go, shall we? Alright, again, thankfully, even if you don't repair your car every other race, you always get fresh tires and headlights every other race, so... If you're doing a nighttime rally or something like that, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine if you bust out your headlights. You're not doomed for the rest of the event. Oh, you know who else is... Oh, guys, don't, don't, don't look so scared up there. Yeah, the, the, the crowd tends to be a little stiff. They aren't completely, I've noticed. If you, like, crash into the wall right in front of them, they freak out and jump back, which is a very nice touch, actually. Surprising. And, you know, all credit to them. They aren't... Those people are not cardboard cutouts. They are modeled. They are modeled and evidently animated. Don't touch the cliff. I'm just... This is why I drive so carefully. This is why I'm so heavy on the freaking brake every time I play this game. I just don't want to pop my tires. That literally added like a minute to our time, having that tire pop a third of the way through the track. By the way, you're gonna be recalling a lot of parts from this track, because if you look on the left of our progress bar, this track's huge! This is one of the, sp this is one of the, uh, the long tracks I was talking about. This is basically the entire Wh Wales Rally, it all condensed into one course. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's how it is. Like, literally all the Wales Rally courses we're going to be driving through here. So, uh, that is indeed a thing. Long haul, we're in this race for the long haul, gentlemen. I find these races generally tend to take like about six minutes. Maybe seven if it's a bad race. Also, bear in mind, all these times are with the worst cars in the game, so. Maybe if you're, unlike me, actually good at not falling into the forest, maybe you'll actually end up having some decent times. Yeah, dodge the forest. I just don't want to fall in there. It's a nasty time. I'd imagine I would definitely pop a tire if I were to crash into one of those naked pines over there. What do we got here? Right four long, keep right gate, blah blah blah. He says lots of gibberish there that I have basically taken to understand as don't hit the fucking gate, you moron. And not cuss as much. Still, it's not as bad as my early days, but I do find myself cussing a lot more recently. It's because I'm a college student. Big bad college student. I'm allowed to do what I can. Screw the rules. So I'll make a, I'll make a freaking, I'll make a left. Oh wait, left six is there as well. Fuck. <laughs> the rules are already getting better than I am. Well, bollocks. Let's break here. Okay, careful with the off-road there. 
I don't think just driving off road pops your tires there. It was the fact that I got serious airtime and landed hard on that wheel. I'm fairly certain that's why my tire popped. But still. Let's, let's not risk it, you know? Off road tends to be very unpredictable. It looks light. It looks flat, but let me tell you, man, the second you touch the off-road, you just... Your car is in the hands of the gods now. You have no control, no matter what you think. Bad candor don't cut, gotcha, gotcha. As you see there, he generally tends to couple those, uh, some of these directions with other directions, so... Generally want to speak with the audio on that. I guess you could call that a flaw in this game, is that it doesn't always tell... The visual things at the top don't always give you all the details. Like, it doesn't tell me left four long over crest, it just tells me left four over there. You know? Into caution right, two titans to one, let's do it! Here we go! It's a tight curve, it only gets tighter from here, baby! Flawless turn! Not really, probably could have taken that faster, but you know what? It's a turn. It's a start, I'll take it. Left four, long side, logs on side, and on exit. I hear you. Sometimes this man just says things that I can't even that I can't even make out. But that's just him speaking rally speak, you know. Oh god, I can't turn. I can't turn. Pain is incoming. Woohoo! You know what? That went pretty well. I'll say that went pretty. Whoa, my progress bar just spiked there. Did you guys see that? It, it, it didn't. It did not go smoothly. It just jumped. Did it just, like, not mark my progress when I was in the middle of the 360? Was it expecting me to die horribly? I think it was. Screw you, progress bar. I'm on to you. You treacherous traitor. That's the right one coming up. Alright. Here we drift it. Careful! Yeah, no. What I'm learning now is never use the handbrake while in rear wheel drive. Oh god, this turn always got me. Mind this turn! This turn has got me like, I, I want to say at least six times. Not six, that's a that's an over-exaggeration. <laughs> Basically, I almost always ended up plowing straight through that turn because I was never paying attention to what Dude Bro was saying. I was actually playing this game with friends in the call, and so I had Dude Bro muted, so... That was a, uh, a mistake. Hey, I remember this place, let's... Hey, you guys want to take that shortcut again? No. Of course not. Into right I can see the turns here, you can take a breather, man. Like, drink some water. Make sure none of the rainwater gets in, though. That actually probably wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> Isn't rainwater, like, at least relatively safe to drink? I think it is. It's, it's, it's definitely better than pond scum, that's for certain. And I certainly hope that's not pond scum raining down on us. The plankton invasion is upon us. That sounds like... That sounds like that, could, that has potential to be almost as bad as Birdemic. The plankton invasion. We're just... All the rainwater is now extremely poisonous or something, I don't know. I'm not a biologist. I play racing games, you think I'm a biologist? That's a... I don't know how you, how on earth those two actually connect, but, you know. I'm trying to make jokes here. Yeah, take it easy on me, man. Basically just jibber-jabbering. As we just destroy this freaking whales rally. Uh oh I don't like... There goes that sign, that yellow thing just went into orbit. Lots of instructions just came at me. I see a hairpin turn. Let's just keep it up, up here. All right, this is a weird turn. So something's weird about this turn. When you go through this turn the other way, obviously this way it's a hairpin. But when you do this check in reverse, or a segment of this check in reverse, that turn is marked as a, uh, a, a turn two into a turn three rather than a hairpin. It's weird. But you know what? Again, whatever. Video games. This one's always a hairpin, though. Here we go. Just throw that back out there. Swing your booty, vehicle. That was not swinging the booty. Not very good at, at, at strutting my butt, I'll be honest. I, I very much so like to keep my butt under control. In all things, really, not just racing games. Unless it's burnout. If it's the crazy over-the-topness of burnout, I'm always drifting. Uh, he's a caution slowing there. I didn't actually hear it, I've just played this course so many times. Yeah, we're gonna cut some tape here. No, we didn't. Oh, we're gonna take out that pull. No, that is a, a very solid pull. Is that metal? That looks like metal. It's gotta be metal. The rule of, the rule of video game is that if it's metal, you, you can't move it. 
And if it's wood, then that shit just takes off into orbit as soon as you touch it. No matter what the speed. Right through water splash. Let's do it. Make a big splash for the fans at home. This one goes out to you. That was a terrible splash. I mean, despite the fact that it was a terrible splash, it still looked like a log flume. So, you know, what? I'll take it. There's our finish. Eight minutes time. That is absolutely abysmal. Goodbye. Eh, who knows? We'll see. Maybe it actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> Let's see how we are compared to the... I te generally tend to be within a... Yeah, that was, I'll call that mediocre. I generally tend to be within like a minute 20, a minute 30 of the number one in the world, I find. I mean, I'll take that. I mean, he's the best guy in the fucking world. Alright, either way, now that we submit, let's actually get out of here, because we're approaching 25 minutes. <laughs> Good camera angle! 10 out of 10! What is this camera angle doing? It's not looking at me. I think I broke it. <laughs> Unless that... Okay, I guess that's not trying to track my character. Let's go back to the main menu. We can, uh, we can return to that online event later. And by we, I mean me. Sorry! Instead, we'll go to, uh, over here. Where is it? Let's go make a custom event. And we can do a hill climb! Now again, this is a mode I really am not entirely sure why it exists. It has its own classification of vehicles, and I can sort of understand that one. It's The roads are a lot safer, they're a lot wider, they're actual roads. <laughs> so, I can understand why you get their own class of vehicle, because obviously, I mean, you need the best cars in the game for the widest and safest roads, but at the same time, there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, harrowing turns, and you also don't have Dude Bro during this race for some strangers. We'll do mixed surface, because it's more interesting. Pike's Peak, though! I can dig it! This one, uh, I guess goes out to me. Let's go against the Community Delta. You can, uh, in custom- er, what's it called? In, uh, in a custom event, you can choose between AI drivers or Community Delta. I don't know what Community Delta means, but I know it is infinitely easier to beat than even the lowest difficulty AI. I don't know why. Again, this is get this is not a beginner friendly game is all I can take from this. AI, I'm lucky if I can beat them by a fucking second. Community Delta, I've beaten by like seven, no, even more than that. I think my highest split time against Community Delta was like 20 or 30 seconds, it's insane. So yeah, um, I wanna work on the difficulty, especially considering you have fucking five levels. Anyways, let's go. Let's go. All it means is you'll have a little bit of pain. What do we wanna do? Let's do, uh, let's do Sector 1. Nah, Sector 2 looks more... Looks... No, fuck it, let's go straight to the top. Then we'll do the full course. Can we do it in reverse? No, we can't. Uh, what conditions do we want? Sunny, afternoon rain, overcast. Eh. Yeah. Let's do overcast. Or let's, just, let's do overcast, why not? This one can be... This one can just be, uh... This one can be clear. Let's do it. Clear on sunset. Alright, so here's our special vehicles. Let's just go with the Peugeot, why not? It's the most expensive one, obviously it's the best. It's got the highest horsepower, 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 wow. It's got the highest horsepower, and yada yada. Uh, why not, Barracuda. I'm like a Barracuda on the road. A really, really drunk Barracuda that doesn't actually know what it's doing. So again, we're gonna boot in here, and you're gonna know Sergeant Dude Bro in the backseat is not telling me how to drive my car. So, that's a thing. Okay, it just seems weird. Maybe they just, like, don't have these lines voice acted or don't have it programmed yet or something. It is early access. Just, it's, just, it's just weird to me. Community Delta doesn't tell me what its time is here, unfortunately. Again, I assume that's just early access being early access. Hopefully, they'll have that a bit better in the future. Either way, let's go. You're gonna have practice runs, but, I mean, this is a custom event, so we can restart as many times as we want. Should mention, you can't restart online events. Uh, when you you can restart championship events, but only up to five times and it costs you a thousand bucks a pop so Watch that. Let's do this Hit oh, yeah, right, right, that is one thing you just go on this one you start it as fast as you choose to start it Here comes the start. Let's do it and see how many times I die because sergeant dude bro is not here to tell me about the hairpin fucking turn There we go It just feels silent without his without his wonderful European accent telling me how to do. Telling me how to do. I feel like, I guess now I understand how Fedora Gamer feels with all of his European accents. The man loves his European accents, let me tell ya. That was a wonderful little thing. That randomly generated podcast was, was fun. But again, all that this fun must eventually pass. Okay, here comes another turn. Shouldn't mention this is an all-wheel drive vehicle, in case you couldn't tell. 
a bit easier to drive, that's for certain. That being said, I believe it's still really hard to drift with the handbrake. Go, 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 come on. This is the fastest car in the game. Let's fucking show it. Show those horses off to the people at home. I'm just really scared because dude bro isn't there to, to tell me that everything is terrible and I'm about to die. Because Lord knows what's going to happen in like two seconds. That's a tight turn. Holy shit. Yes. Flawless. Okay, maybe not. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, the recovery. Ha <laughs> ha. Apparently I didn't need Sergeant Dude Bro after all. So I'm sure some people are wondering, Ginger, you live in Colorado. How true is this course to real life? I wouldn't know. I've been to the top, to the top of Pikes Peak once. I was in elementary school and I took the cog rail. So I don't know how, just how true to life this course actually is. I assume it's pretty uh, pretty true to, true to uh, life though. I mean, Codemasters has a lot of racing experience. It would not surprise me that they have the resources and whatnot necessary to get like actual rally courses. So I'd assume it's very, very true to life. I mean, if memory serves, well, we'll see it soon, but if memory serves, they do actually have the convenience store at the top of Pikes Peak, so... That's true! Unless it's not there anymore, in which case, well, whatever. This game was actually constructed from my memory. Fun fact. In that case, this probably isn't true to life. But, you know, whatever. No one's perfect. Especially not me. Yeah, this looks like another sharp turn. Indeed it is. Woo! Let's not land on the sharp rocks. Or on second thought, I guess we'll just... How's it going, rocks? How's it going? Let me just get back on the course there. That way we don't have to deal with nasty random bumps all over the place. Ooh, our split time for this one's gonna be bad. Alright, this is a really nasty thing about hill climbers. There's a lot of exposed people here. A lot of the other rallies have people behind, you know, safety barriers. Because people don't want to die when someone like me hits the track. But, uh, not Pike's Peak, not Hill Climb. Uh, oh god, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is alright! And we lost, like, fucking four seconds on that split. Goodness. Nastiness, nastiness, nastiness. Here we go! I'm going off the side! I'm alright. This does, does give me an opportunity to talk about something about this game that I don't like. And that's just... This game has a lot of arbitrary failure states, I've found. Not a whole lot, but there, there are a few spots. You'll notice on that side, I actually ended up barrel rolling off the cliff, but, cliff, but the car still recovered. There are some areas and some maps of this game where it just decides, no. <laughs> Terminal damage, your car was unrecoverable. For some really arbitrary and random reason, I just don't understand why. Like, I, you saw me, I went barrel rolling off the side of Pike's Peak, and yet you're gonna tell me slightly driving behind a barrier in Santa Monica is, uh, not recoverable? Okay, game. You just keep living your happy, comfortable life, and, uh, I'll just cry in the corner, because I just lost, like, 5,000 credits. Because you bailed me. Alright, well, that wasn't terrible, I guess. Let's go. Why not? We can probably get one more race in here. Vehicle's not been repaired. Let's do it! Yeah. You know what? We didn't take a whole lot of damage. To maximum! <laughs> wow. Quite literally to maximum. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Hill Climb has a lot more time. Apparently you get a full hour in Hill Climb. Alright. Alright, I can dig it. Alright, that hurts because it's a custom event. I don't know. I don't do custom events a whole lot. I don't see much point to them. I'll just do the online and- Oh, shit. Right. Don't need to have the countdown to five. Um, excuse me, isn't this the start we just had? I thought I said the... Oh, right! I forgot, this has multiple runs. Oh, uh, right, I forgot about that. You have multiple runs in Hill Climb. Which, again, is really weird. I'm not sure I understand why. So I guess this will be the last rally. Sorry, guys, we don't get to see the full climb to, uh, to Pike's Peak. Rip and Pepperonis. Why don't you just come here to, to sunshiny Colorado? Boost our tourist status a little bit. I will welcome you with open claws. I'm just kidding. Don't actually come to my house. I'll probably scream like a little girl and call the police. And nobody wants to be there when the police respond to a, a little girl screaming. Let me tell you. Did I ever tell you guys I'm actually a little girl? It's uh, a really interesting story how I ended up with this voice. I'll tell you about it another time. Speaking of stories, I probably will make a, a, a vlog coming up because I need to get you guys' opinion about the game prowl. Because I, 
Again, I, I plan on being a lot more lax with this series. I plan on uh, being significantly more lax with this series. I want to, you know, go back to being about fun. The time for the time. Wow, look at that split. <laughs> Anyways, the time for when my channel was inspired by Total Biscuit has come to an end, and it came to an end a long time ago. I want to be about fun now, not about consumer-friendly bullshit. So uh, we'll see. Again. Being lax about the game prowl, I'm just not sure. I I might want to do other games. Like, one thing I want to talk about is maybe me doing a video on Rally Championship. That game I was talking about at the beginning of this video. But, again, problem with that one is it's a GameCube game. So the only way you're going to get your hands on it is if you get really lucky at a locally used game or pawn. Shit! Oh, God! Bane! Alright, we're good. Well, that went poorly. Anyways, yeah. If you get really unlucky at a pawn shop, or ru really lucky at a pawn shop, or if you, again, get lucky on Amazon or Craigslist, so, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see about that one. It, uh, oh boy, oh boy. Again, this is why I wish I had Sergeant Dude, bro. He could have told me that was the right four. Shit! Oh, God, followed up by a hairpin. I'm alright. Even though it sounds like a hairpin just got shoved into my leg, we're alright, we're alright. I cannot imagine... You know, I literally just did this course. <laughs> I literally just did this course. What am I doing with my life? Uh, anyways. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I want to get you guys input. I got obviously I'll take input from this video as well, but I'll wait for an official vlog in which I talk a bit more about it in detail. And in which I'll probably have this game running in the background because I'm addicted to this game because it's great. Currently 35 bucks. I picked it up during a Steam sale for 26. And I don't regret a minute of it. Again, 35 bucks. It's a, a little it's a little up there. But again, it's uh oh hello there. Hey, hey achievement! You can't actually see that because I'm recording with OBS, not XSplit now. Because OBS doesn't charge me 25 bucks a month to earn money. Thank you, OBS. Love you very much. Mwah. Don't kiss while driving! Shit! Oh, there we go! I done killed myself because I tried to kiss the screen. Not literally, I blew a kiss, but, you know, whatever. That's, that's that. Also, I lost my tailgate. <laughs> Hopefully, not my tailgate, this is not a fucking pickup truck, you dongle. I lost my rear bumper. Hopefully no one rear ends me, or things are gonna get real ugly. Or hopefully, I suppose more accurately, hopefully, hopefully, fuck. Hopefully I don't rear end anyone while reversing. Is that still a rear ending? Like, if you back into something, is that still considered a rear end? Because you are hitting them with a the rear end. But generally, rear end is, uh, about booping someone, about someone booping your butt. Yeah, regardless. I mean, it's, it's always the other guy's fault, right? <laughs> it's always the other guy's fault. Look at that lightning bolt! What does that lightning bolt mean? I don't know. It, it applies to, uh, whatever. I'm gonna think of why are there two times? Oh, oh, right, the fastest time, right, I forget. I, so you get two runs, and I guess it takes your fastest of the two? Alright. I can dig it. I can dig it. Well, either way, we're gonna have to call this video here. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, checking it out, Dirt Rally. Tons of fun, if you, uh, if you like Rally, and if you've never actually played a Rally game, well, <laughs> this is probably the, the best one again to get. Again, it's not very beginner-friendly. Even, uh, even with all the assists on, things can get ugly really fast, and the... The easiest AI is quite difficult to beat. It's not hard to get a top 3 finish. Cause the, the easy AI is weird in this game. Cause like, the number one guy isn't actually half bad on the easiest difficulty, but everyone else fucking sucks! <laughs> People take like 14 minutes on a 4 minute course, it's kinda silly. But the number one guy actually normally posts pretty good times, so I don't... It's not hard to get a top 3 finish on the lowest difficulty, but it's really hard to get a number one finish. Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Enough rambling. Bye!